Certainly 2020 was the most challenging year that most Australians have seen and it was certainly the case for our Navy. Starting the year dealing with the response to the national bushfire disaster on the north coast of Victoria uh, and southern coast of New South Wales through to the response uh, for COVID-19. Uh, we found the Navy doing things that uh, we would not normally do. During the bushfire response, we lifted 1,117 people from the coastline in the bushfire ravaged areas and took them to safety. Throughout the year after the COVID pandemic hit, uh, we found ourselves supporting the state and government responses to hotel quarantine uh, through to border control measures. Uh, it was an unprecedented year in terms of the nature of the activities that we responded to. But at the same time, we still continued with business as usual in terms of our regional presence deployments, our support to our Southwest Pacific partners and friends, our exercises, and the activities that we do with other navies in the region. My first priority for 2021 and my ongoing priority is the well-being and safety of our Navy people and their families. This year I will have a particularly strong focus on electrical safety. We've seen a number of electric shocks in the last few years as we introduce new high-powered equipment into our Navy. And as our Navy continues to become more technical and relying more heavily on high power, we need to ensure that each and every one of us understand the importance of safety when it comes to dealing with power. The safety in the electrical space is my key focus. Our people are the backbone of our Navy. Without our people, we have no capability. In a time of growth, we need to ensure that our people are safe uh, and that their well-being is front of mind for each and every one of us. Our Navy is in a period of significant growth. Uh, we've got the largest workforce we've had in the last 28 years, and that will continue to grow into the future. Ensuring that people feel valued, understand their role in what we do every day, is vital to our continued success. In terms of our second priority, the ongoing contribution of Navy to the government's response to the global pandemic, we play an integral role in keeping our country safe and ensuring that national safety, national security, and the priority of Australians is at the centre of everything that we do. Priority three is all about responding to other government-directed activities and priorities. We know that 2021 will be the year of delivery. We have many exciting but complex capabilities to deliver. But we also live in uncertain times and we need to be ready to respond in the region and globally in accordance with the direction by our government. We need to deliver ships, we need to deliver submarines, we need to deliver aircraft and we need to be a growing and resilient and agile Navy as these capabilities come into our current force and our future force. 2021 will be an exciting year in terms of the delivery of our future Navy. In April, we will see the commissioning of the first of our two new tankers, HMAS Supply, and her sister ship, HMAS Storwood, will be delivered later this year. We'll see the ongoing construction and delivery of the first of our Arafura class patrol boats, and we will prepare for the construction of the first of the Hunter class frigates. Work will continue with submarines. Work will continue with the delivery of future air and autonomous platforms. So in terms of bringing together our future fleet, 2021 will be pivotal. Navy's cultural intent is underpinned by our values, service, courage, respect, integrity, and excellence. These values are vital for us to be able to operate successfully as one team. In 2021, I want to continue to build on our cultural intent of being recognised as a thinking Navy, a fighting Navy and an Australian Navy. It's something that's resonating very well with each of us. We're understanding that we now have a licence to operate, a licence to think and a licence to focus on what it is our core business is about. I'd like to thank each and every man and woman in our Navy for the great work that they've done during 2020 
and reflect upon that. It was a difficult year. But as we move into 2021, I want every one of us to understand how our contribution makes a difference to the ongoing security and prosperity of our nation. Thank you for your great work and I look forward to working with you in 2021.